Hi there, Craig Hocknell here with Learn, Play, Laugh. I'm just going to talk to you about this great new product. It's called the Golf Slot Machine. So I can show you the cover there. Um, it is endorsed by Chris DeMarco. As you can see, he's got some imaging and, and videos as well for you. Um, I just wanted to kind of go through a little bit of how I particularly use it as an instructor and how you may be able to use it as a teacher or as a player. A couple of cool things about it, um, it comes in this easy to read and, and easily identifiable packaging with also a pamphlet on the inside that talks to you about how to access the information online as well and how to go through the steps and listen to the videos and all that kind of stuff. But this is really cool, so check this out. Right, it looks like it could be made out of cardboard, but it's actually a ballistics material in the middle. There's actually a black material right there in the center. And then it's actually got an aluminum casing on it, which then has been colored to help you figure out how to actually use the golf slot machine, right? So basically what I'm gonna do is just kind of show you how to use it and how I use it. I've got the camera perched up here at a high vantage point just so that you can see it as well. So the basic use for it is when you set it on the ground in this position, you use the jigsaw puzzle pieces and put it together. And then what you'll find here right away is that you have a one, two, three, and a four indicated. So as I step back here, what you'll see is there's a green arrow and a gray number two, a yellow stripe, and a blue stripe that goes across the golf slot machine. So number one is to indicate where you place your golf ball. We'll get to that in a minute. Number two is where you place the club head. Number three is your takeaway, and number four is your downswing, so or your follow-through position, right? So basically, if I start out and I put the club right here on number two, and I sweep that club along here, you can maybe hear it scraping. So I just sweep it right along number three. What you'll see is the extension of my backswing, if I keep that going, takes the club along the line here. And now, what as, as I do is I turn and fold my arms up, now what I'm visualizing down here on the ground is now what I have to do is I have to get that club to trace along the four. Okay, so if you've been in golf for any length of time, you've, you've heard of dropping it in the slot. So that's really what this indicates, is this slot position. So anybody knows that that slot right here is where that right elbow for a right-handed golfer kind of drops in against the rib cage. And right about here, it then creates some of that hinge and that lag of that low to the shaft. And then right here, once you're kind of in that slot, you really have to fire at this point. And what it does is it catapults or slingshots your hand action through the ball. So if I go through this again, and we, this is shadowing on top of the, the device, if I set up on number two and I just hover my club in the air, go back along three, and then trace four. So as I do that, you'll see two, three, four. Do that again, two, three, and then four is here on the blue line. And I'm just kind of working on changing my direction, changing my path. But what you'll find as you do this is it actually dynamically makes you move your lower body appropriately. Players who have traditionally just kind of sat here with their hips, pick the club up without a lot of hip turn and then gone into baseball mode and chucked it across, what they're going to do is hinge it up and throw it across that line. And that what that produces is a square club face with an across the line path, which obviously then produces a side spin or a slice spin to the shot. So if you've got a player or you yourself are struggling with that over the top move, what you can do is just follow these steps. So two, three is long down the line and then four in order to get you can't just leave your hips here and expect to throw the club out that doesn't make any sense and it's kind of awkward and uncomfortable so what you have to do after you go two three is you actually have to kind of bump your hip a little bit and what that does is it displaces right the lower half so that there's room for that right elbow 
to essentially drop right into that slot position. Now some of these moves I am making are exaggerated, right? And that's really where this device comes in handy is it's visual, you lay it on the ground, you can do it in the living room, you can do it out here on the driving range, and what you do is trace that line back and forth. Now even as a junior golfer, as a kid, I would do this kind of stuff all the time. Take some tees, peg them in the ground, take some golf balls, maybe get adventurous and use a shoe box or some shafts or your clubs. Um, but just like one of my students the other day made this move and actually took his iron and slammed it right into the crown of his five wood. Then he had to go get it replaced. So you don't want to do that. So this ballistics material with these bright colors gives you a really good way of tracing that back and forth. So that's basically the, the basic steps of it. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to show you on the other side a few extra things that you can do with this. Some things that I just kind of came up with on my own. After you've traced and you've moved the club through that shape, then you can set it out, flip it over, and now you have kind of an alignment tool for your feet, right? What I've noticed with this too is because of the angle here at the back, what I like to do now is as I sweep that club back along the grass, now what I do is I picture my club coming right along that angle and right back in here to the ball, right? So I'm doing the same thing. So what that's doing is it's taking your maybe inward and chopping wood move and it's routing it and changing it and basically pushing it back the other way. So what that happens in that hip area is it forces you to then kind of move your hips to create that slot position. Um, this can be used for putting as well. You can set it on the green and putt along it either side. You can take it, split it, and putt between it, right? So you can take your golf ball, put it right here, and hit putts right between it as well. Another way you can use it is take it, flip it around, and create a V, right? So let's say I was gonna chip my ball in this direction, I can create a open stance. So I can put my toes on this wall, and then I can chip in a straight line this way. So you can actually use it to help you to find that open stance. Because what a lot of people do with that open stance is they set their feet, right, and they don't actually put the ball in the right position. So you can go from right here, D to D, put the ball out in front of you, and then what you're actually doing is you're positioning it out in front and you're chipping along beside you. Some people actually end up getting the ball too far off their back foot and actually behind their heel, and then that causes them to kind of hit down on it a little bit too steeply. So anyway, I've really enjoyed just the versatility of the product. Um, I myself, if I were to work with a brand new beginner golfer, I would teach, you know, very neutral, very symmetrical, big rotary swing. I would train them to kind of work the club around, the kind of naturally around in a circle of the inside, and then again work the club around naturally on the other side. So I've got a left-handed one here. And what this does, if I was to work with a brand new golfer and continue to coach my particular more rotary philosophy, what I do is I actually take a left-handed version and a right-handed version and put them together. So this way, <clears throat> the right-handed one goes right here. Okay, so now that's working on kind of going straight back and then dropping it in the slot. Well, what about if you have a player who's actually, or yourself, are actually hooking the ball severely, right? What about if you're actually going too far from inside to out? Well, you can use the left-handed version. So what I do is I kind of match them up right here, and then what you can actually work on is from this position, going back three, four, to the ball, and then routing your hips and rotating your hips so that you can swing left, and get that club to move this way, right? So if you've got too much of an in to out path, you can actually kind of go straight back and then visualize cutting across number four on the left-handed version going that way, 
right? So this is kind of straight back and then rotating the hips. This can also be a great tool for someone who's working on chipping. So if you set up here in the middle and you want that club to kind of work left with an open face, then the club exits over here on that four line. So <clears throat> just because um, you pull it out of the container and you look at how Chris DeMarco hits with it, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're limited to only those particular moves. Any training aid to me um, that's valuable is one that you can use indoors, outdoors, and one that you can use to gain that repetition under good direction. So if you're the professional, you take one of these, you teach your students how to use it. If you're the student yourself, then you get some advice from a, from a certified professional, one that is familiar with the golf slot machine, that can help you understand how to actually use the tool as best as possible to help you with your golf game. So there's obviously a lot of things you can do with it. It's great packaging. It's very, very sturdy material and it's very portable. You know, once you're done with it, you can take it, put it in the side pocket of your bag. Now you don't all have to have a big staff bag, but usually actually it fits better in the side of a carry bag. So anyway, hopefully that helps you understand a little bit more about the golf slot machine and how it is that I use it. And hopefully some of these tips will help you to understand how to use it so that you can play your best golf.